folks, your daily message for today is a little bit different. Spirit is asking me to talk about some of my story in in order to relate today's message to you. I feel like in many ways, you and I, whoever I'll be speaking to today, have a message that we need to hear together. I am using the Lightseer's Tarot, and I've laid our cards out in a Celtic cross formation. So already, I've struggled with filming this because I knew it pretty soon after the cards started coming out that I wasn't just speaking to a person who'd been through a lot, I was speaking to me. This spread is about me, and it's about someone to whom this message will resonate, okay? Someone's gone through, we have gone through a lot of trauma. We may have gone through rounds and rounds of trauma. Excuse me. Oh, God. We've been hurt multiple times. And it feels like something that we just couldn't get away from. By the way, the devil is associated with Capricorn. So if you are someone who had your Saturn return in Capricorn, like me, for instance, if you had your Saturn in Capricorn during Pluto in Capricorn, like me, then you'll understand how tough it was. If you have a Capricorn stellium, like me, then you'll know what an ass-kicking past several years it's been and in many cases it just got worse for you and it just got worse for me okay we've had we're, we're going to be carrying trauma well into the future whatever this is we went through some tough shit you and i okay that is those are our central and challenging cards, the challenging card points into the future, which tells me that we're going to have to heal over a number of years. Please excuse me. I was seriously crying for like 10, 15 minutes before I started recording. If it looks gross, I apologize. It's just one of those days, one of those readings. You know, I like announcing when people are doing well. In collective messages, um, this is just one of those tough ones, okay? This is just one of those really tough ones. And I've never been asked by spirit to talk about myself in relationship to the people who watched these, message before, these me messages before. Okay, here we go. This is our past. While shit was genuinely going down, while the devil was, had their, had its noose, its reins around our necks, we felt like we couldn't escape, and in fact, in many ways, there was nothing that we could do. We were suspended by the universe in our circumstances because we were meant to change and grow with the revelations that we got while we were, while we couldn't get away from the circumstances that we had in the devil. The devil is in reverse right now, and also with the three of swords. What that tells me is that in the past, we went through some genuinely traumatic circumstances, and now it's, as we say in my part of the United States, it's all over but the crime. We have trauma that we're going to be carrying around for a long time. I don't envy you, and I don't envy me. <laughs> in your conscious position, you're deeply defensive. I'm deeply defensive. You and I have gotten used to locking people out because that was safe. To locking things down because that was safe. And for a long time it was. You're still a very deeply defensive person even when you got hit and pulled down multiple times over and over, okay? In our unconscious position, we have the King of Cups. 
in spite of the fact that you are a deeply defensive person who does not let people in easily at all, the right people do breach your defenses, and they deserve to breach your defenses, and you deserve to have them in your life. If they left in the past, they're coming back in. For some of you, that may resonate. That may not resonate for everybody, okay? But in any case, you've learned how to weather the storms of life. The King of Cups is water on fire energy. Sometimes it can be unstable, but a deeply spiritually mature individual, there is no gender in tarot, a deeply spiritually mature individual knows how to balance these opposing forces for their highest good. And I see that because this is in, this is in the upright position that you've managed to do that. You've learned to manage this. You've learned to feel your emotions. You've learned to help help others, help guide others through their emotions. You've learned how to comfort others, others through their emotions. You've learned how to be a loving, compassionate individual. You've chosen to be a loving, compassionate individual because, in spite of the circumstances that you've gone through, that we've gone through. Uh. In the future, we've got the High Priestess. You and I are going to be able to tap into our intuitions and genuinely listen to the universe, what the universe has to say in terms of guidance, and act on it in spite of everything that we've gone through. Somehow the trauma is going to be shaped into something useful by the universe. It's not just going to be left there idle. And we're going to be told told how to use it, too. This is your future, your, our future, and this, the Queen of Wands, is our outcome. Not only are we going to be able to be deeply connected to the universe and get downloads, but we're also going to know exactly how to act on what it is the universe act, asks us to do. So, in the advice position, this is the universe saying that what we have gone through has not gone unnoticed, and that justice, that karma is acting in our favor, and that is something that we need to keep in mind as we really continue to grow into our personas as the High Priestess and as the Queen of Wands, that the universe has our backs, and that... Karma will have a funny way of being a bitch to the entities, to the people, to the organizations that have wronged us, or it will have a way of writing things for us. In many ways, it's going to resonate deeply for everybody else, for everybody, depending on what your circumstances may be. Just with this particular situation, just remember that the universe has your back and that interfering with it is probably not something that you should do. Unless the universe specifically asks you to do something, do nothing. And that's advice to myself, too. And that's going to be hard because I show up as a king of wands more than anything else. <laughs> Ace of wands is in our current environment. This is us doing something new. Maybe completely out of character for us, but it's a whole new thing that we're doing. Progressing, changing things up. Um... Yeah, I'm in a particular era, an, an astrological chart. In our hopes and fears, well, I'll speak for myself, I didn't want to get on here and do this reading. Um, you know, I give readings all the time that hit close to home for other people, and I guess it was my turn to have a reading hit close to home for me and for whoever I'm speaking to right now, okay? But I didn't want to get in touch with my emotions with this particular reading. I, d I don't like crying on camera. I kind of don't know when to allow my experience with tarot, with the universe to come in, and when to make it my audience's experience, right? I don't know when to, like, I've never centered myself in any reading on this channel, um, it's been about other things. It's been about other people. It's been about the collective. Um, 
I didn't want to expose myself like this. And also, by the way, my Chiron is in Gemini in my 12th house, so I really didn't want to talk about this kind of stuff. And you may not want to expose yourself either. That kind of ties into the unconscious position. Here with the Nine of Wands, you are deeply defensive. Your walls, our, my walls, your walls are up high because we've We've gotten used to people taking advantage of us, for instance. We've gotten used to being on the outside and being involved with others, being involved in the world. I'll say being back involved with the world again has been just deeply disorienting. There may be something that you're getting back into that has been deeply disorienting because you've spent so much time away from it. Um, yeah. So there you go. <laughs> a message for you. A message for me as well. The universe paid attention to what happened. To what gave us so much trauma. It saw that we were in a position where we could not move. And it wants to say that rest assured, every single last thing that you went through will be avenged a hundredfold, even if it takes more than one lifetime to see that justice come through. No more for me. Thank you for putting up <laughs> with how I read today. Thank you for putting up with this different reading. If it resonated with you, I connect with you on a very deep level. And I wish you the very best in your spiritual journey. Take care.